Hi, I'm Ted Johnson with Marketing for Guides. Today we're going to talk about how to turn your website into a booking machine. Now, most websites were designed as online brochures by web designers that had more experience as graphic artists than they do as marketers, and they're really not designed to be a marketing tool. Now, as a guide or a charter captain or a lodge owner, you've got a lot to do during the day. You've got to take care of your clients. You've got to make sure that the boat's ready. You've got to cut bait. You've got to make sure the tackle and the rods and reels are ready. There's just a ton of things that you have to do. The last thing you want to have to do is think about your website. But if a website is designed properly and has the right tools and functionality, here are the benefits that you can expect from it. One is increased bookings. Two is it should be attracting new clients. It should also be lowering and in some case completely eliminating your advertising costs and it'll obtain more repeat business from your current and past guests. Now if a website is set up properly, there are four keys to making that website successful. The first is it needs to pass the eye test. Now this isn't just aesthetics, but it, there's some science involved in this also and we'll talk about that in a little bit. There's also something called lead capture. Does your website capture leads and follow up with them automatically? Now that isn't just simply a contact page on your website where people can put in their name and their email address and ask you a question. It's providing people with information and giving them a reason to give you their name and their email address so that you can follow up with them later. The third is, is your website in the Google Spotlight? If you're not ranking on the first page of Google for what they call long tail keywords for the type of services, really the type of phishing that you do, then your website really isn't performing properly. And finally, is it mobile friendly? Let's face it, mobile is becoming a really big part of the internet. And does your website pass the pinch and scroll test? And is, does it look good on all the different devices that are available? So let's uh, talk about the eye test. Now, the first thing is when somebody goes to your website, is the general appearance good? Is there good colors? Is there good flow? Does it look like a page out of a newspaper or does it have some logical reasoning and, and, and logical progression that takes people through the site? And then secondly, does it meet the minimum requirements? Does it have a USP and does it fit in Google's heat map? Now, let me explain those two. A USP is basically a unique selling proposition. So if you don't have and use a USP, why would anybody do business with you? This is the unique reason that people will go fishing or come and stay at your lodge versus someone else's. When you've got a USP, it's obvious why somebody will do business for you. Now let me explain. If we just sat down really quick and I said, hey, what's your USP to a guide? A lot of times we'll come up with something like, well, we catch fish and we have a great time. And that's all well and good and it's true, but it doesn't set you apart. If you think about it a little bit, a USP may be, we take great pride in being able to find and catch fish when others can't. Now, if I was scrolling through a website and I came across a business that promoted we catch fish and have a great time, that won't make any impression on me at all because I'm assuming that. But if I came across this and it said we take great pride in being able to find and catch fish when others can't, wow, now that makes an impression and that may be just the reason that I would call this particular guide or charter. Now the Google heat map is something that uh, Google has spent a lot of money on and on figuring out what people look at when they come to a website. Now this isn't a fish finder nor is it a topographical map. This is actually a picture of a website and the coloring here denotes where people look when they first come to the website. The cooler colors, the blues and the greens, are uh, areas of the screen that people will not look at much. But the hotter colors, the reds and the oranges and the yellows are where their eyes are going. And so if you don't have information in this left-hand side of the website that promotes people to stay on the website and take some sort of action, you're missing out. And there's a tremendous amount of people that will come to the website, they don't see anything in that particular area, and they just go away and you'll lose uh, all ability to contact them in the, in the future. Now we talked about lead capture and follow-up. And there's a coined phrase in the marketing business, the money is in the list. 
and the list is a list of people that have contacted you for various reasons, information, what have you, maybe a past customer, uh, and these are people that you can go back to and you can send out messages to and encourage them to maybe come on a trip with you, um, do other types of business with you, and that sort of thing. So the question is, how are you maintaining this relationship with your customers and prospects? Your database of leads, right, and customers is really the most valuable asset you have. And I'll show you why here in a second. So on your website, are you offering people maybe a free fishing report, maybe a how-to video on how to catch a specific fish, how to catch a redfish uh, off of the uh, Texas coast, right? Are you providing this information that is valuable enough where people can give or are willing to give you their name and their email address, which gives you a chance then to follow up with those people and maybe bring them on a trip. Now, as I mentioned, the money is in the list. And it's really sad that most guides and charters at the end of their career only have a bunch of stuff to sell. And I just pulled this off of uh, Craig's list and here's a, a charter captain that is selling his boat for about $35,000. Now he's probably also has some rods and reels and some tackle and maybe a boat slip that he's selling also. But you know, maybe he's gonna get $50,000, $60,000, maybe just a little bit more uh, for his business if he sells it. But if you had a website out there that was producing on an average of 20 bookings per month automatically, and he didn't have to do anything to that website, it would just automatically produce those bookings, then that would be an extremely valuable asset to pass along with the business. So let's do the math. If you had 20 bookings per month that came off your website at $200 per booking, that'd be $4,000. Now you take that 4,000, you multiply it by 12, and that comes up to $48,000. And here's why I've come up with that number. When evaluating small business, one of the things that is evaluated is how much cash flow is coming into the business. And a rule of thumb is that businesses sell for anywhere between two and three times the revenue that's brought in on a monthly basis. And so if your website is bringing in, I'm gonna round it up to $50,000, then you can charge the new owner anywhere between $100,000 and $150,000 for that website. Or you could sell the website to another charter captain if uh, you have somebody that just wants to buy your hardware. And that becomes an extremely valuable asset. So your website's worth $150,000 where your equipment maybe is only worth $50,000. And again, putting a website up that is on autopilot that automatically follows up with people and encourages them to book can be a very par powerful part of your business. Now, as I mentioned before, there's lots of things that you can give people. You can give them free reports, you can give them audio uh, um, information, videos on how to fish for a specific fish, uh, how to tie a specific knot. There's a ton of reasons that people would give you their name or, and, or their email address. And this then obviously promotes trust and rapport by the, the person coming to the site because now they've got some valuable information from you. So the next time that you send out an email to them, they go, oh yeah, this is Captain, uh, uh, Captain Smith. And he sent me that great information on how to catch reds off of the Texas coast. What does he have to say today? And obviously that uh, email message would include something about, you know, give us a call. We'd love to take you on a, on, a, on a chartered fishing trip. And that will help you build your business. The Google Spotlight is how people promote their, uh, their website so that Google believes that they're one of the most logical uh, places to send people that want to go fishing. It's easy, right, to rank on top of Google when, uh, when you use the right targeted keywords in the right specific way. And that means a ton of free targeted visitors to your website. And that's something that most people are missing. If let's say that you're in Texas and you're a charter captain that goes after reds, right? Um, you might want to Google yourself by typing in um, charter fishing for redfish and see if you come up. If you're not on that first page, then your website isn't doing what it should be doing to promote your business. Now your site also needs to be mobile friendly. It needs to appear properly on all the different devices that are being used to go to the internet today. 
Now, most guides and lodges that have developed websites, they were developed prior to this uh, um, age of these small mobile devices. And back then, we had these great big screens and you could be very creative and, and graphically appealing, but now people are visiting those sites on smaller and smaller devices and they look really clunky because they're having to reformat around the screen. Did you know that 60% of all website traffic that comes to a website uh, for the first time is typically on a mobile device? And if people are, don't have a good experience on that mobile device, then they'll just go to it and uh, they'll leave very, very quickly. That's called a bounce. Now, Google has got involved in this and they said, you know, if you don't meet our standards for having a mobile-friendly website, then we won't even send you traffic anymore. So if your website isn't set up to display properly for people coming to it on a mobile device, how much business are you losing that you don't even know that would come to you if it was set up properly? Now on the left hand side, this kind of gives you an example of a website that's uh, set up for a desktop that displays on a mobile device. It doesn't look bad. There's a steelhead there and a couple smiling people, but you can't read the rest of it. You have to expand your fingers out and, and uh, make the screen larger, but then you start losing all that other good information and people can't see it. it it's just a clunky experience. We're on the right hand side. We have a guide that is taken his business and he's put it on a mobile device properly. He, the, all the buttons are at the bottom that are thumb friendly. There's a call us button and a share us button and book a trip. And it's a much easier experience uh, offering people this type of display or this type of mobile site versus one that's designed for a desktop. So in regards to the online marketing diamond, if your website isn't designed to pass the eye test and it doesn't meet the minimum requirements of having a USP and doesn't fit into the Google heat map, if it doesn't have a lead capture system that encourages people to put in their name and their email address and turn for uh, some good information, maybe even just a coupon. If your site isn't uh, showing up on the first page of Google on specific, what they call long tail keywords, and it's not mobile friendly, I guarantee you, you're losing a tremendous amount of business. But if all this was done to your existing website, and it was done in such a way that it would happen automatically on autopilot, it would be amazing what you could see in regards to how it helps your business and how it helps your booking. So what's next? Well, we have something that you really can't lose on. What we're offering to you today is a website profit machine blueprint. We call it the money machine. Really, basically how to take your existing website, put in appropriate tools, and appropriate functionality and wording and turn it into a profit center versus something that's just sitting out there that's an online brochure. It's a 50 page report that tells you exactly what you need to do to turn your website into a website then that can contribute to your business each and every day and each and every month so that you have a very valuable website that helps you with your bookings and when it comes time to retire, you have something there that is really worth something that you can sell. Typically, we charge $197 for this report, but for the first 25 people that respond today, we're gonna do this report for you for free. One of our professionals will go into your website, they'll go through a checklist that we have and uh, highlight the, the, uh, the points that are good, the points that are not so good and the points that are bad, we'll put it into this report and we'll send it to you with no obligation. I wanna thank you so much for taking the time to listen to our presentation today. If you ever have any questions, please call us at 503-380-8012. Thanks again.